for cultures with low power distance. Here are some tips for leaders. Number one, still be firm, be directive, or even suggestive. What's the difference? Be directive is telling. Suggestive is, you know, you have an idea and then you tell Filipinos, what do you think? But the most important part of this first tip is do not be bossy. And I'll tell you the difference. We allow a Filipino leader to be bossy because of culture. But if we hear a bossy person from a different nationality, the Filipinos may tend to say it's discrimination. So please avoid sounding or appearing bossy. How can you articulate that into more specific behaviors? Speak last. Encourage people to give ideas first and then listen. Of course, you'll state the problem first, you state the direction, and then ask Filipinos to tell you what's on their minds. The tendency is when a manager already says, this is the direction, this is the decision, and you ask a Filipino, what do you think? Most Filipinos will say, I'll go by what you said. Noted. Yes, sure. I support that. But if the Filipino is not heard, he goes out of the meeting and tells other people, you know what? Actually, I don't support that. So you have to guard against that tendency. With our tendency to say yes or noted, rephrase your yes or no questions to open-ended ones. Instead of asking, has this task been done? You may ask, What's our percentage of progress in this task? Because we have this default of saying yes. Has this been done? Yes. How much has been done? 80%. Then that means it's not been done. So please ask more open-ended questions. And you may want to probe further when you get a yes from the Filipino. I often joke with the Filipino crowd. We are known for the Filipino yes. And how many of you can relate to that? Filipinos will say yes, but it means a lot of things. It might mean a yes. It might mean a no, but I just don't want to prolong the conversation or I just don't want to be embarrassed that I did not do the task. So please probe further when you get a yes.